Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on the Beef Play channel. And today, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to get this gearbox right here. Make sure you do subscribe, like, and comment if you guys do enjoy this video and if you find it helpful. And let's get right into it. Okay, so this is a huge process to go through to be able to actually get it. So, if you weren't aware, the factory update happened roughly about six to four months ago. So, this was a huge update, and those who grinded it at that particular time has more likely got the gearbox by now. But if you're a new user, don't need to worry. This video will show you start to finish on how to get it. So let's get into the video. So the first thing you need to do is actually get one of these drills over here. So to make this, what you'll need, Crystallized iron times one, blue sticky gear times one, and steel rods. So steel rods will be needing steel. So let me show you how you get steel. So like I said before, this is a huge process to be able to get it. Maybe it takes a little too long to be able to get the gearboxes. However, it is definitely worth it once you get everything set up. So let me just put all of this in our inventory just so we can, you know, kind of get it going. So you'll need one of these steel mills. So the steel mill, it costs 100 iron and 50 gold. So this is really, really simple to get. I won't show you how to get gold or iron in this video. However, all you have to do is go to spawn and you'll see iron nodes on the floor. And if you want to get gold, you just have to level up your PVP. I covered a whole video on everything you need to know about this level system over here. If you guys want to know how to get gold. However, you want to craft one of these, okay? And you want to obviously get it started. So it's simple. All you have to do is put hole in it and also iron totem so once iron goes through this system it creates steel so let me show you the finished product of this so this is steel ingots right here this is what you'll need to make steel rods and other stuff to be able to make the gearbox so you're probably thinking that this is a huge process and you will never actually get up to it but trust me if you just keep going at it in about 24 hours you'll be able to get one of these gearboxes however you will also need the steel bolt factory mold the plate factory mold and the rod factory mold so to make these what you'll need is obviously a particular amount of steel so one of them i think is 500 the other one 1000 and 1500 so let's just double check that on here so the rod factory mold is 2500 the plate factory mold is 5000 and the bolt factory mold is 1000 so this is very very expensive to be able to make this however this is essential if you want to make the gearboxes so let's have a look what you need to make the gearboxes so you need copper rod times 10 steel bolt times 50 and steel plate times 25 so this is very very expensive to make if you think about it so what we'll need to do now we need to actually head all the way back to our spawn so i can show you exactly the next step so once you're making these with the steel stuff and it drops on the floor all of that kind of stuff okay you'll need to be able to craft steel rods so you can still you can craft steel rods from the place in there, the anvil. However, you will need to make a red bronze binary at some point. So this is the end result, what we'll need to be able to actually get there. But I don't think we actually need the red bronze refinery to be able to actually get the gearbox so do not worry about the red bronze refinery just yet but you will need to make the copper press and obviously the steel press these are the presses to be able to put your mold in to make the bolts the plates and the rods to be able to actually get the gearbox so the gearbox you can't actually place it right now the only use for it currently is for the animal wool machine however that is what we're going to be covering in the today's episode because you guys need to know how to do it so once you've actually got this going all of that you want to come over here obviously set up your drills okay so if you don't know how to set up a drill you get islands so you get four islands spawned on your island so in these corners so as you can see there's gold over there what you want to do you want to put a drill on top of that and obviously power it up with coal i won't cover how to actually make them run in this video all i'm showing you is the steps to get this so this is copper right here you definitely need copper if you want to start progressing in the game however what we want to do let's head over to here and let's see if we need anything so copper so you copper ingots okay 500 and steel rods so now we've got our steel mill this will get us steel rods okay i'm not going to show you how to get it set up so 
all you have to do is get an iron totem over here and you place it and then you place a conveyor here just so it can connect up so you can make it into an automatic setup so in a couple days i will make a video on how to make an automatic setup for all of this kind of stuff if you guys don't already know however this is copper okay you do not want to mine it because it'll take roughly about 12 hours for another piece to respawn okay so all you have to do is place your drill on the top of this so if you don't know how to actually get a drill, let's head back to our crafting table and see how to make it. So let's scroll down all the way down to drill. So steel press drill. Okay, so you need crystallized iron, blue sticky gear and steel rods. So crystallized iron, just mine iron ore continuously. Blue sticky gears kill blue slimes. So this is really, really simple to make now. It used to be very, very difficult. I think it used to be gold or something on those lines to be able to make that. But now we don't need that. All right, so let's say we got up to the progress of getting the copper press so let's spawn in the copper press so copper so the now we place the copper press roughly about here obviously you want to set up a chest on this side and you want to set one up on this side but let's say if we want uh, okay we want to make bolts okay so if we look in you want to insert the mold into this and as we can see 15 to make one bolt okay so what you want to do you want to get your copper and you want to set up an auto clicker or whatever you want to do and you just want to click this and once you get enough as you can see it presses down and we've now got a copper bolt again you can do this for every single type it will take a long time to be able to grind this so you do need steel okay so you want to set up as many as of these as possible i've got eight from my old base i wish i kind of stayed on my old base for a little longer if i knew that this update was coming out however it is what it is and let's carry on in the video so let's assume you've got all of that okay you've got all the copper stuff going everything sorted and we want to get the cop steel press okay so you need copper plate copper rod and steel rods okay steel rods steel mill okay you can make them through the machine over there however let's say you've done this okay you've gone da 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 50 times okay and obviously you need a lot of this so now we've got all of that sorted okay let's let's just remove that just to clear up a little bit of space for you all and let's head back into here so now we made the steel mill okay right and let's just place it down so let's place this steel mill down so i will be doing a giveaway on a few of these maybe in the discord in a couple of days so make sure you do hit that subscribe button if you want to keep up to date so now this is done okay so steel press so the copper press did copper now this one's done steel okay so as you can see bolts rods and plates so this is same process okay this time you only get steel so apparently i don't have any steel okay it's right here and you just want to do this all over again until you get 50 so let's just do this just for purely the video's sake so let's do this okay and pick up some of it like that okay so one two three four five six seven and it should be done roughly about now so as you can see we've got a steel plate here so that is the basic concept on how to make this so let's assume you've got all the steel and everything sorted now you've completed this now you've got you know all the steel and all of that to be able to get it done so you could go on and make the red bronze refinery but in this video you will not actually need it to make the gearboxes so let's just ignore that so now you've got up to that point you've done all your plates you've got everything that you needed to make the gear box what we want to do we want to head all the way back to our anvil and craft as many rods as possible that will meet the requirements of the item so let's have a look over here okay so copper rods so you have to use a copper press to make the copper rod using your mold down here you also need to get the steel press to be able to make the steel bolts and you need 50 of these okay so it is very very expensive to make these also steel plates as well and that is basically the concept on how to make this possible so you don't need to worry about red bronze right now that is for a later video however it will probably be needed in a later video so make sure you stay tuned for that and i'll show you guys how to get red bronze very very soon but now all of that's done okay let's assume we made this all right so now we've got one in our inventory right here so let's just search it up all right so now we've got this you can even 
either sell it. I don't recommend selling it, okay? Just full stop. Do not sell it. You'll probably get more through selling it to a person than actually selling it to the NPC right here. So if we want to sell this, we get 30k. Okay, it sounds good from this point at the game, but it's really not, okay? So the amount of grinding you do to get one gearbox is not worth how much you're trying to sell it for. So I recommend keeping them and stacking them up in your inventory for as long as possible and not selling them at all. And this is why, because obviously they're slowly trying to make, you know, stuff new kind of stuff work with gearboxes and you will need to do the factory update for this so it is a pain for some people however if you've got the resources or if you're starting out and you're interested in factory updates and stuff i encourage you to go back to my older videos a couple months ago on everything like that but i am going to be releasing some update videos for you guys to cover everything about the factory update and if you guys like this video make sure you do smack like and subscribe but that is basically the concept on how to get gearboxes as quick as possible so i do understand that it will take a lot longer for you guys to get it if you don't have all of these resources as soon as you get all the enough resources and you know grinding enough hopefully you'll be able to get it so obviously you'll need obviously the, the correct level and stuff like that but let's so i'm gonna end this video here i hope that covered everything that you need to know and if you guys have watched up to this point in the video make sure you do hit that subscribe button leave a like and let me know down in the comments if this video has helped or if i can improve on anything in this video so thank you ever so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out